Hello everyone, so in this video we will be continuing with our input widget series or rather the streamlit series and our input widget part 2. So as usual we will be importing the basic stuff and I will be doing it really really quick. So streamlit as st. We also need another thing date time from date time rather not date time. We need to from date time import time. So I'll be using this in one of the widgets obviously. So the first thing that we need is the multi-select. So let's say we have option and the way you call multi-select is st.multi-select as simple as that. So the next thing obviously if you have followed along it needs a label. So which places have you been is the question which which places have you been okay. So obviously this is multi select which means that you have you might have gone to more than one place. So you know we need to give the options. So the options are the first option that we have is Sydney which is in Australia. Sid, Sydney okay and I'll be filling the others. Okay so another parameter that you need to pass is default. Now this can be some of the uh, places from here so let's say I'm going to have uh, Sydney so let's say you already have been to Sydney Sydney and let's choose another one let's have Paris so this will be pre-selected okay so whatever the options are okay so I'll say st, st dot right and um, let's say let's give it option okay so as you can see our two which places have you been and the pre-selected one Sydney and Paris the Sydney and Paris we had selected both of these and you can see the Sydney and Paris has been selected already and you can see also the uh, dictionary or rather the list okay now there are other three options as well which we did not select till now Tokyo New Delhi and Cape Town let's say you also have been to New Delhi so this will also come here let's say you also have been to Tokyo let's say you also have been to Tokyo Let's say you never were in Paris, so we can remove this, okay? Remove the Paris. So again, the Paris will go over here, and Cape Town is over here. So as you can see, this works this way. You can all, you could also, you know, remove this if you want. You can just narrow it or collapse it if you want. You can do whatever you feel like, okay? So let me comment this entire thing out, and let's see our another widget, which is slider. So slider is something which works like this. So you can say slider, st.slider. And I think this is one of the most important input widget, okay? So just as usual, you need to print the label, write the label. So our label is your age. So we are going to ask the user what that person's age is. Let's say the minimum value of the age that you can enter is 80. And the maximum value of age that you can enter is 120, let's say. And uh, the other thing that you can do here is, let's say you want to have a default value. So my default value is going to be 20. And you also need to define, or this is an optional parameter, is the step, which means from 18, what is the minimum step it can go? So from 18, it can go to 19. From 19, it could go to 20. From 20 to 21, 20 to 22, 21 to 22, which means every year has there has to be one increment or one decrement so let's say you are at 25 you can also decrease one you cannot decrease half okay so you cannot go lesser than a step okay so let me just go and print the number st dot right and now we'll go we'll save this we'll go here we'll hit rerun and as you can see our age the question that we ask is age the slider is there from the minimum value 18 to the maximum value 120 and the initial value we had kept it as 20. Now I initialized the step as 1 which means it can either go to 21 or 19 or obviously other values which are uh, which are step multiple of the step which means it cannot go to 20.5. So if I go and slide here it directly went to 21. There is no way I can you know balance it between 20 and 21. It will either be 20 or 21 or 22, 23, 24 whatever it will go till whatever uh, range it cannot go lesser than 18 because minimum value was 18 it cannot go more than 120 because our maximum value is uh, 120 so let's say our uh, slider is at 92 92 so you can see the value 92 has been printed over here 
Okay, so this is the normal use of the st dot slider. Let me show you another use. That is the range. How you can uh, have a range? So let's say you have num again. You're gonna have slider. Okay, the same thing. We will give the label. But in this case, we have to ask a different question. Okay, so the question I'm going to ask is, um, let's say again your age. Okay. And min value again we have to provide min value is let's say 18 max value again we have to give it as 120 but here we are having the range so I'm going to give value the range is going to be from 40 to 60 this is our initial range okay so let's say you have um, okay you have a certain scheme and what age range of people are eligible for this scheme let's say okay and let me have step equal to 1 and let me go and just st dot write this number so now okay now i'll go back over here and then i'll rerun so as you can see the range has been initialized from 40 to 60. let me increase this range okay so let me have till 70. so now this scheme is available for people between 40 and 70. let's say i want to increase this from 40 or let's say decrease it from 40 to 30. So now the age range is between 30 to 70 as you can see over here okay so whatever you increase or decrease the age okay so till 60 and let's say we have it till 80 so the range has changed from 60 to 80 whatever so this can also be used to change or to get the range okay now let's go for the different one so our next input widget is going to be time range slider so very important slider is time range okay so let's say you're going to have a visit at a doctor so let's say visit timing okay so an appointment slider st dot slider i bad st dot slider as you know what we need the first one is the label so we are going to say your timing doctor timing or appointment so this was an example that was given in the uh, documentation as well okay so I just found this one to be very very important and useful because you know we generally deal with time and that's why we had imported the time module from the date time so what is the time let's say from 11 30 to your appointment will be let's say 12 45 pretty long right so I'll finally write the visit timing okay I'll go over here and then I'll read up. So as you can see, your timing has been shown from 11.30 to 12.45. Let me increase it. Let's say I want to go from 9.30 to 2.15. Well, pretty long appointment, but whatever. You can change. So you can see that change has been reflected over here as well. 9.30 to 14.15, which is 2.15. So that was one way of using it. Very important way. That's why I thought it's very important to mention it over here. Now we are going to go for the different widgets. Let's say we are going to have a select slider. Um, the way you do it is, let's say you have an option and then you say st dot select slider. Okay. Again, the same thing. What you need to do is give the label. Let's say we ask the person to select the best color. Okay. So he selects the best color. And what are the options that we are giving him? So I'll be quickly writing the Vibgyor colors. So let's say there are these options, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, Vibgyor, the rainbow colors. Okay. So lastly, what we are going to do is we are going to write st.write and finally have option. Okay. I'm going to go over here and rerun. So as you can see, our violet has been pre-selected. You can also have the other pre-selections as well. So every time you move, you always go from one option to another. So let's say I moved one step and now from violet, it has gone to indigo. If I go one more step to the right, it goes to blue. And the same value has been printed over here, as you can see from, uh, as you can see from here, st dot, from the st dot right. So from blue, we went to green, from green, we can go to yellow and so on and so forth. Okay. So this is one use of the select slider. So I'm go, I'll go and comment this out. Now let's go to a different widget, which is select slider range. Almost the same thing. So let's say start color and end color. So we'll be having some 
starting and end colors let's say we are trying to have a wavelength or something so we will again say select slider I'm gonna copy this entire thing or let's just write it label select color range or let's say wavelength range whatever okay I'm going to quick, quickly copy this from here so we will say options I'll be copying because it took me some time and what you want to give is the range so the value I'm going to have is let's say from blue let's say from blue we are going for orange okay and now what you're going to do is just go and print this so st dot write so we are saying from start color to end color I have to give a comma over here so this hopefully should work now I'm going to go here rerun and you can see from blue to orange let's go one step back from indigo to orange as you can see over here from indigo to orange let me go one step back here too so from indigo to yellow as you can see over here from indigo to yellow so this is how the select slider works for a range function okay now what we are going to do is let me go down and the next one is text input so the next widget is text input so it's very simple let's say you have a txt which is a variable we will have text input and obviously the first thing that we need is a label so what is this going to be so let's say we enter the email so please enter your email okay now what we are going to do over here is we are going to initialize the max characters so our max characters has to be uh, can be 20 so let's say every email can be a maximum of 20 characters long and you can also pass a placeholder so placeholder is basically whatever is written as in the gray that is presupposing what it is to be written in that particular field i'll be sh i'll be showing you in one second so just write here um email here okay so these are the three things that we have done so let's say st dot write and we are going to write txt i'm going to save it go over here rerun so as you can see please enter your email so this one came from here the label please enter your email and the placeholder is email here so this is what is written here email here so let me say my email is abc at the rate gmail.com and if i hit enter the email is being shown over here now if i change abcde and hit enter again you can see the email has changed now obviously we are done with 15 out of 20 characters so let's say i'm going to increase it a b c d e f g h i and just i hit j till j it is saying 20 out of 20 it has started blinking over here but whatever it is possible so if i hit enter you can see i till j now what happens if i want to add another one k it won't add it will go here so do whatever it will not add okay so this is how this input works text input works there is also another way of doing it let's say you want to have some passwords okay so what i can do is i'm going to say password or whatever st dot text input so for that also you use this particular input as as the uh, this particular function as the required function okay so here what you can say is give your password or enter your password enter your password okay now what I need to do over here is I can say max characters I'm going to import uh, keep the max characters as 20 as well and also have a placeholder so I'm going to say um, let's say my placeholder is password here now the Im important thing over here is that I have to specify something called as type and the type is going to be password so in the previous one we did not specify the type because the type was a default text input type but here the default type has to be changed and the type has to be written as password so what it will do it will give you the dots that you generally see in password so i'm going to say st.write so that we can run it st.write and i'm going to just print the password so i'll save it go over here rerun let's say i'm going to write a password so i'm writing a password okay and if i want to see it i can write uh, you know click this 
I button over here and you can see dummy password. So once I click the I button, you can see over here dummy password has been shown because we wrote here uh, st.write. So this is how your password works. Okay. Again, you cannot go more than a certain length. This is not allowed. So once you click over uh, here, outside wherever, the entire thing will be shown. Okay. Now we are almost up. We just have one more function. So that function I'm going to write over here. So let's say you have a um, number input. So let's say num is equals to st dot num. Uh, okay. We have num and you m and I'm going to say st dot number input. So number input and what we can ask? Well, we can ask the label as enter your weight. Okay, so I have to close this over here. Let's go over here. And what I can do over here is let's say our minimum value. So now I don't expect you to be less than 40 kg and maximum value is let's say I know people more than 120, but whatever. Let's say our maximum is 120. The initial value let's assume to be 65 and step again has to be 1. So you cannot give in grams. You have to be either 60 kg, 61 kg, 62 kg or whatever. Okay. So there is no half a gram. Now let's say st dot right and then we are going to have our num. As usual, we'll go here, we will rerun and you can see, oh no, I don't want to save any passwords. So enter your weight. So my weight is, let's say 70, or let me make it, let, let me be heavier. Let's say 85, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so if I hit over here, enter, it says, please enter, press enter to apply. So as you can see, the 85 has changed. I can go over here and change my weight also. 86, 87, 88. And as I increase this, you can see here also the changes have been taking place. So I hope you understood the video and bye.